Realty Mountain View. I am here today with local artist Maddie Busey. Hello. And she does some pretty amazing work and you can find her work in Old Colorado City and a couple of other places. So with further ado, Maddie, tell me a little bit about yourself. All right, well, i um, been an artist for as long as I can remember, but recently, like two years now, decided to make a go of making it a career. Okay. Um, I am simultaneously a stay-at-home mom to two crazy kids, so my life is chaotic and exciting and full of paint and ink, and I'm always messy, and it's awesome. That's awesome. And you also homeschool, right? Yeah. Okay. Two kids. Two homeschool kids. Okay, so <laughs> you're an artist. You've been an artist for as long as you can even imagine. What type of art do you do? I do printmaking. Okay. Printmaking... Um, for lack of a better thing to say about it and to keep it short, is making a stamp and stamping it. But um, think 20 inch by 20 inch hand carved detailed stamp on linoleum. Okay, so print art is one thing that you do. What other type of art do you do or do you love doing? Yeah, um, <clears throat> I do a lot of watercolor. I'm not gonna lie, a lot of when I'm doing watercolor is I'm doing watercolor next to kids who are also doing watercolor. Of course. <laughs> uh, it never made sense to me to just sit there and be bored while they want to paint. So okay. I, you know, they have paints and I have paints and we sit there and we paint together. We art. And uh, we art. <laughs> and that's a lot of what I do. I have in the past done a lot of um, oil or acrylic paintings. Okay. Not as much right now. I will bring acrylic in sometimes if I do some mixed media pieces okay. that are like, I might throw down a watercolor background with a print on top of it with, you know, accents using acrylic and maybe some pastel or some ink lines or something right. like that. Okay. Now you had mentioned, I mentioned to everyone before that you do have your art in Old Colorado City and a couple of other places. Mm -hmm. So where could someone find your art and tell us about the studio or your where your main like the main attraction where your stuff is. <laughs> All right, well, I guess the first place I would suggest, the most consistent, um, is Eclectico in Old Colorado City, and that is on Colorado Avenue. It's one tiny half a block east of the ice cream shop. We all know where that is. Oh, awesome. <laughs> um, <laughs> and I have a whole section in like the back half of the shop there. Okay. I restock it weekly, if not more often. And the stuff is constantly changing. So in the summer, it's tank tops or t-shirts, notebooks. Um, right now, there's hoodies there with a big skull printed on Okay. It. Well, yeah, so it goes. <laughs> it's all the way time. Exactly. Right? Um, I also have some stuff in Odds and Ends, which is in Ivy Wild School. Oh. And um, the stuff there is not all going to be the same. For some reason, the stuff that does well in one is not the stuff that does well in another, so it's definitely worth checking out because there is a lot of stuff I only put in odds and ends, and a lot of stuff I only put in eclectic. Okay, okay. Um, also, if you're hitting up the galleries around town, you can find some of my stuff with G44. I will also be part of the G44 holiday show, and potentially a part of the Fraser Gallery gratitude show this year. Oh, well, congratulations on that. That's pretty amazing. So there's different things at different places, which is amazing. And it's just a, an eclectic, as you <laughs> said. I mean, it's you know, eclectic co, right? So that's just, uh, that's phenomenal that you have it in a small area. Now, you also do some stuff on Etsy, right? Mm -hmm. I okay. do. Okay, she does do stuff on Etsy. And uh, you also do stickers, right? Yeah. So tell us about your stickers. <laughs> uh, I once really genuinely considered renaming my business to ADHD Arts because <laughs> there is just, there's no consistency in style. It's whatever feels fun to me. So we have words, um, <laughs> <laughs> but there's also, you know, a really beautiful dragonfly. There's a beautiful crow. There are... Um, three different mushroom stickers that are really cool and they're all watercolor painted. And you've done a Colorado one too, right? I've many of them. Many a Colorado one. So okay. mountains, 
galore, um, and then some other more um, off-brand maybe stuff. Okay. Yeah. What advice would you give yourself or a new artist? The first advice I would give is to make bad art because you will never make good art until you've made tons of bad art. Okay. Um, and just because something feels bad to you does not take away from the fact that it is still art. Okay. A lot of what we see as art actually comes out of the presentation and the confidence that you give to a piece. So just, you know, have a mat lying around and play with your things to say, maybe it is actually really cool. Just because it's a weird bird doesn't mean it's not a cool bird. Right, okay. Um, my second thing that I would tell people is to always be open to asking the community uh, yes. to be a part of it. Go to the First Fridays. Go to the artist talks and the community happenings around town. So what is First Fridays? Let's, let's backtrack. What are First Fridays? First Fridays are <laughs> the first Friday in most months. Most places, most cities that have galleries will have a First Friday art walk where all the galleries have their opening for the month. Okay. Um, and you don't pay. You just come in. Usually there's wine or beer. Oh. And <laughs> you just walk around. The artists are all there. You get to meet the gallerist. It's not the time to go to a gallerist and say, hey, I want to get stuff in here. But it is the time to go around and just be a part of that community. Okay. Let your face be seen. And just be there. Okay. Make those connections. But don't make them for the connections. Make the relationships. Got it. Okay. So backing track. Go. So your second piece of advice is, is <laughs> be willing to not only be a part of the community you want to be a part of, okay, but also to be open to just saying, hey, I know that we've never talked, but I've been in your gallery a few times and I do art and I feel like we might have the right fit for each other. Is there ever a time where I could just send you some photos of stuff? Okay. Um, you'd be surprised how far that will get you with just getting you on a radar and having people just be grateful that you come to see them you're a part of the community and that now you're reaching out because they know that that's a vulnerable thing yeah it sounds to me like being part of your local small community is is paramount in your business information with maddie and to follow her on social where can they find you my instagram is buc underscore artish b-u-s-i underscore A-R-T-I-S-H. And then my website is www.mattybusi, M-A-D-I dot B-U-S-I, or M-A-D-I B-U-S-I <laughs> I know okay. my name. Okay, and then um, can people also get custom prints or custom work from you? They just would need to kind of interview with you and you do that as well, correct? I do loads of that. I've done um, custom business stamps for people. Okay. Logos for Bar Forte downtown. I've printed some of their shirts. Um, notebooks for companies. I've also done select prints that I have. For example, someone last Christmas said, I really want a daffodil, but I want it in my mom's favorite colors, and this is her favorite poem. Could you write it underneath? And I did. Okay, and awesome. And so fully customizable. Awesome. Yeah. Awesome. Well, thank you, Maddie. It was awesome to meet with you. Thank you. And we look forward to seeing you on the next interview. Bye, everyone. Thanks for your time.